Um, so yeah, let's dive in. Uh, first of all, for those who are interested, what's going on in, in Tokyo at the moment with the COVID situation? It's um, it's it's looking good. I was actually just looking at like the wave. It is amazing how these um, you know how these pandemics in Japan and elsewhere like form these wave shapes. And it's, it's it's weird if you think about it. People are catching covid from other people and it goes up and down it's so weird that it can happen on mass like across huge geographic areas and people in these wave shapes and these waves are really symmetrical um and you know based on the wave it's still terrible it still is above the worst level that it's ever been before this wave um and not only that but also the uh, number of serious patients and, and deaths is higher than it ever was although what is encouraging is that this pen this time it is um you know, Delta is horrible. Uh, it's causing uh, a lot more serious cases than we've had before, but predominantly among people in the ages that are not yet eligible for vaccination. Um, the, for the age groups that are vaccinated largely already, the over 60s, um, very low rates, which until now it's always been elderly filling up the emergency rooms and so on. So it really shows this would be a lot, lot worse if they, we hadn't had the vaccination so far. And why I'm very glad I got vaccinated, even uh, with the uh, Moderna one. I haven't even checked if I actually got mine from one of the, the, the bad batches um, and around that as well. I, I, I remember even mentioning the news that there are people who, you know, um, there are concerns that it might have represented the contamination of some of those batches from the Spanish factory that was making the Moderna shots. Uh, appears to have contained stainless steel in some of the shots, um, which, you know, is pretty dangerous to be uh, having contaminants and injection things. And it's not anything at all against the, um, you know, vaccines themselves. It's an issue with the actual, um, you know, standards at the factory producing it, which, you know, should be called out and corrected. But uh, I'm very glad I got my Moderna shots. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've been... Uh, Personally, yeah, I, it just means that um, it, 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 while it probably won't suppress the number of people getting it, clearly you can still get it and get pos to be positive. You can even get a seriously bad case of it. The chances of getting a, 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 a serious case of COVID are like one in ten or something like that. Less, right? It's a lot. So basically. I mean, it seems to be increasingly clear looking at countries like Israel and the UK that have pretty high vaccination rates. They're already pretty much done. You know, they're not going to protect us from getting it. They're just going to mean that mostly it's going to go from being something that has a pretty, you know, um, still people debate how serious the, the, the death rates are. But, you know, um, are pretty, pretty scary, uh, much scarier than the flu or sort of other regular things to hopefully being something more like the flu that you get, you know, a periodic shot for. And that, you know, eventually everyone will get it, but everyone will sort of get through it, you know, being pretty miserable, but we'll get through it. As opposed to taking, you know, a risk with the, your own life and the lives of others. So, you know, um, I, I am optimistic looking at the shape of the current wave. We should probably be going back down to where it was like in before, before the state of emergency in about four weeks. So we've still got about a month of it being uh, completely miserable, still terrible with serious cases. But um, the big thing at the moment in Japan is last week and this week, um, the uh, Obon going home vacations and summer vacations for schools have ended. This is happening in a lot of places in the, the Northern Hemisphere. With summer vacations ending and kids going back to schools and seeing how contagious this wave has been and it started during the school holidays, what I am worried about in fact I, I i honestly don't see how there can be any avoidance of schools becoming massive centers like most it was always a concern but with delta it's now more of a concern given how more virulent the virus is um of it spreading in schools and somehow we're gonna it's gonna go up again um i i'm hopeful that won't happen it didn't happen before but and i know that the schools are being very careful but that's what i'm looking at now with my son going back to school tomorrow um uh, again, you know, we're, 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 we're better off now, but uh, that's the, the main thing. So wait and see, but things are getting better. Also, the Olympics finished tonight, the Paralympics finished tonight, so that's done. Um, and, and yeah, again, I must admit, uh, you know, again, congratulations to all the athletes, congratulations to all the volunteers. It was a big undertaking. I know a big commitment for a lot of people who are involved, committed years to setting this up, but at the same time, shouldn't have done it and uh you know from the leadership point of view um that's one reason that took it gone that will left that we'll talk about in a moment um they shouldn't have done it and 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 it's held up things like uh people japan residents being stuck and unable to return keeping families apart for years uh people waiting to come here for jobs for student visas um, you know, immigration's been shut down to accommodate this for, you know, basically two months, and, and it's going to be a few more weeks, but the hope is now that this is over, 
we can start to see, you know, vaccine passport based travel and all these sort of normal things. So I am an optimist. If we get, if, if we're really talking like if this wave is like the other waves and we're four weeks to go really until things get sort of better, which relies on everybody continuing to take this totally seriously for another four weeks and the school's not becoming clusters. It means that, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see how towards the end of the year, uh, I, I do have some more stuff on this. In fact, I think I put it here. Yeah, Japan to issue online vaccine certificates in December. So it sounds like they're moving towards having online vaccine passports towards the end of the year. In fact, last week, the scientific committee that uh, that advises the Japanese government started to suggest a bit like France and Italy. Japan should consider having, um, although they're not making vaccines mandatory anywhere in Japan, they are suggesting uh, having things like um, restricting access to movie theaters. Um, you know, requiring vaccine passports to be able to access certain things, um, you know, to be able to loosening restrictions on condition of proof of vaccine passports. And I think that's what this is going to be part of having these sort of mobile application and mobile phone, you know, hopefully digital, not just carrying a big A4 piece of paper like they have right now. Um, but these are all ways that you can start to look at things like making, you know, reopening Japan and starting to go back to offices and starting to go and watch movies and go out drinking and so on, which you haven't been able to do for 18 months, at least not really completely. So, you know, nothing's going to happen fast, never does in this country, but I can sort of see how if they're doing that in December and with the way that trends are and, you know, things can change quickly all of a sudden. But, you know, I'm optimistic right now that we could actually... Um, in three or four months time, um, you know, we could be uh, getting back to some kind of, you know, um, normal would be the wrong word for it. I really can't imagine a world in Japan, you know, I, I'm, I've, I've gotten so used to wearing a, a cloth mask whenever I go out, you know, uh, Japan's always very hygiene conscious anyway, generally. Um, so I just think that's going to be like part of the standard going out from now on, um, you know, <laughs> um, so normal is going to be different, but I can see some sort of resumption of at least not being stuck in this room all the time and being able to talk to and meet other people, which I'm looking forward to. You know, it's been a long time. So, um, you know, some good signs in Japan. That's the first story.